I'm here outside the Temple of Sound where Vinton Maloney is going to prove that he is indeed one of the best DJs in Limerick. Dancing in Limerick has changed a lot. I don't know if I could say for the better or for the worse. It, it goes in waves. Like It's like um, the dancing in Limerick would have started off maybe around 91, 92 when things really started getting going. Um, it kind of hit a peak around 94, 95. Um, things were really happening then. Went downhill for a while, but it looks like set to, a lot of new clubs starting to come on the scene. It looks set to you know get good again. Um, I started off when I was about 15, just uh, messing around with records and just putting them together to see, just see how DJs work and how it happens. Um, and I just, from practicing around, eventually just looked at, to see it as a possible job and how I could possibly get into it. Like, so that's how you discovered your talent. Did I'd, you get? How did you get the idea into your head to do that in the first place? Did you see um, other people doing it? Um, yeah, you see it a lot. It, it started to become very popular um, in, say, the mid part of the 90s when um, DJs started becoming more recognised, whereas in the 80s everyone wanted to be in a band, in the 90s everybody wanted to be a DJ and it was like guest DJs were talked about and DJs did remixes and DJs did this and that and it just seemed something interesting, like just I just wanted to get into it. Like, I'm building a studio at home at the moment um, just because that's the area I particularly want to get into. I did start as a DJ but um, I could see myself more as a producer um, in the future. So it's at home, I'm doing that kind of stuff at the moment. That must have been hard to set up, was it your own studio? Well, yeah, it's, but it's more, it's like a hobby, really, uh, to be honest. It's like something, uh, I'm just building it up from scratch. Like, it's just something I'm interested in. So it's something I just do in my own time, like, but it is something I could eventually turn into uh, something bigger. Um, you're known to be involved in many different projects. So what are you doing at the moment? Um, at the moment I've just completed a remix for um, a local Limerick band, Radars, and um, they, as I mentioned earlier about bands and dance music coming together, they're very much uh, uh, br bringing that concept out in Limerick. They sort of, they have a live drummer um, and they have, uh, I would say, the dance music side of it, they use keyboards and all that kind of thing, and they use live bass and stuff like that, and they put it all together. So uh, they came to me and said, well, we'd like a kind of a, a dance type remix to suit the clubs. Um, and that's how that came together. Um, that comes out in about three weeks time. Okay, so who would you say your influences are? Uh, influences go right across the board. Um, I would say, for as, as, as a DJ point of view, it's the Americans I look to most. It's, it's all the Americans that, that sort of influence me. DJs like Armand Van Helden and Todd Terry um, and Masters at Work. These people have been around since the beginning of dance music. They started it off in America and it's the American sound I'm, I'm most into. Um, the French dance music scene, believe it or not, is a very big influence on me too. People like Cassius, Daft Punk um, and of course in England we have Basement Jacks which are very exciting at the moment.
I've spoken to, such as Jack L and Aslan, feel that the dance scene is disintegrating. You don't agree with that, do you? Um, I don't agree with that. I would say, if they're looking at it from a Limerick point of view, um, the dance scene, as I said, in Limerick goes in waves, it comes and goes. That's partly because Limerick is not a big enough city to support the the dance music scene. It's because there's so much involved in dance music, there's so many different areas in it, that um, a scene in Limerick, it could never be specialised, a specialised scene in Limerick. Um, a club would have to cater for everybody and it just that brings various problems and things like that but I, as, as a whole uh, dance music is is a re, is really big now across the world um, you know everybody everybody would like a dance track of some sort you know okay so do you think dance scene is affecting bands original live bands that there's not so many people getting into bands nowadays and more into mixing music and not creating their own original stuff. No, on the contrary, I see it as a kind of um, a merger a lot. A lot of bands now are sort of joining with DJs and they're working with DJs and it's, it's very exciting. It's like um, you'd have bands like Basement Jacks and people like Ronnie Size who are bringing, we'll say, the art of dance music to a band scenario and using bands when they're performing live. And um, it just it, it's bringing the two together, and it's it's seen very good developments in that. Like, yeah. So do you think it's for the better? I definitely do think it's for the better because, as I say, bands and DJs can can work together, and and it, it does bring very good results. I would say, as I say, like um, you'd have DJs who remix bands to make th that band's material more acceptable to a broader audience. It's like you could have a band that might only be listened and listened to by, we'll say, say say a metal crowd. Okay, and then you might have some a DJ will come in, they remix that uh, into something that could be accepted by the dance crowd, and that that will make the dance crowd aware of this band. So, you know, it kind of brings the two together. Like, how do you respond to people who say that mixing isn't an art form? Um, well, it's an interesting question because I would seriously consider it an art form. It's amazing um, if you if you see any of the mixing championships, and if you see a DJ there with just two turntables, a mixer and his records and he's creating something entirely original from that. I mean I don't see why that's any different from some guy who gets up um, and has his band with guitars and drums or whatever and they do something original because I've seen DJs in mixing championships with two records um, just chopping the two records together with a mixer and making something entirely new out of that and it's like they're creating something which is entirely original so it is an art form and there's, there's many, I mean, the people that win mixing championships, these guys have been DJing for 10 years, practicing 10 hours a day, so they must be doing something if they're doing that much practice. Like.
whole 70s and 80s thing which I'm entirely obsessed with 70s disco music in particular and of course we wouldn't have much of today's dance music without 70s dance music which was of course disco music which I listen to a lot when we say I'm taking a break from dance music if I'm at home it would be 70s music and 80s music I'd listen to. Um, you have your own radio program as well, 70s and 80s. Yeah, that's um, on Radio Limerick 1, Saturdays 6 to 9. Um, where we, we take the broad spectrum of 70s and 80s music and we try and include something from every genre uh, throughout those two decades and we've three hours to do but we try and fit in as much as we can um, of that kind of music because as I say without that music someone might come to me and say okay why would you listen to 70s and 80s music and I'll just always say without that music you wouldn't have the dance music of today with so much of today's dance music um, sampling and taking ideas from that style of music you have to reflect back and pay respect to that type of music. Okay. Recently you began working in the Temple of Sound, you must be very busy. Te yeah, Temple of Sound, Temple of Sound is, is, is really um, what Limerick needed. A nice venue where there's a relaxed atmosphere, you can go in, it's comfortable in there, there's no pressure in there, and you can hear good dance music. You'll hear music right across the board, um, and of course there's the guest DJs. Uh, there wasn't DJ, or, sorry, guest DJs coming to Limerick. Uh, as much as there is now and there's a lot of exciting developments in the Temple of Sound on the way I can, I can say that but I can say no more no, You won't tell us now Oh no, well there's a lot of nice DJs uh, lined up we'll say but we'll have to wait and see <laughs> Do you find yourself more involved in being a DJ or as a producer or remixer? Um, well, I started off as a DJ and got into the production side of things. Now, with the Radars remix and with my own new single, which has gone off to a few labels now um, on the cards, and there's a couple of other remixes and a couple of other uh, little projects, um, such as uh, I scored the music for a local film, and there's another local film coming out. Um, to those, that's another side of things. I'd say the production is the road I'm going down, but I'll always be a DJ at heart because that's where I started. Sent at Limerick in the DMC mixing competition in Dublin. Yeah, that was a couple of weeks back. That was a very interesting one actually because um, I went up as a house DJ. Would say as, as playing, would say my category would have been house music. But the DMC competition is usually um, is dominated by hip hop DJs who I respect, and it's a different it's a different style of doing things. But um, it was it was sort of a funny one because myself and uh, DJ Taz, the other Limerick representative, who went up. Uh, Taz would be a trance DJ, I'd be a house DJ, and we were the only two in those categories. The rest was all hip hop. So after that, um, it has been said that DMC are considering categories next year to make it that bit fairer because it's like putting two sports against each other. It's like one person might play soccer, one person might play rugby. It's like to try and compete the two of them together is not fair. So that's, that's the way it was. But, but it was an enjoyable night and to meet the other um, contestants and then the guy who won DJ Mech, to meet him, I mean, it's incredible. I mean, just to see how they do it and their start. <laughs> advice the DJs that are getting started? Um, stick with it, never let anyone say you can't do it um, and don't listen to people, I mean over the years you get people saying find this style, do that and do nothing else, do whatever you feel like doing and just like that's that's the, it at the end of the day, have fun and don't play what you, you know, if you don't want to play something and you think you should, don't go with any trends, just stick with what you're doing and you'll be fine and if you think you can get there you will because you know, you will. <laughs>
to continue mixing original songs. What are your future plans and can you tell us about your new single? Future plans are, the current single is Cause I Told You and that's gone off to a few labels now. Uh, future plans would be to try and get some sort of deal, a uh, solid deal with a label to do a few singles and hopefully um, if any other bands are, are interested in uh, remixes, getting some more remix work, that would be definitely what I'm interested in going down. Fenton Maloney and Derek Corr have both proved that Limerick is constantly churning out fresh young talent. Tune in next week for three local Limerick bands, Red Tide, Given and Perty Ranker who are all playing at Costulos.